Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin, mi Bitcoin Cash might have started that fifth wave, but it's too early to say. Um, certainly what is important is to understand that Bitcoin Cash reacted to our orange support or trend reversal area here, um, which is highlighted in orange. Uh, when we were here above the support line, we were waiting for price to drop to at least 249. It did that and it reacts to it very nicely can see it hit that quite accurately it came down to 248 I think and the idea was to um, get one more high in a wave 5 and um, price would have a chance to react to 249 210 or even 182 but below 182 this wave 4 would be too deep so it is still possible that we are in a wave 4 um, still that we just get an extended wave 4 yeah but chances for that would reduce if we get a break above the B wave high, 309, which we might very well get. And chances for that will reduce further above 330 if uh, the third wave here is broken to the upside. At the time when we break above 330, we have a confirmation that we are in wave 5. And now I think it's all about, okay, where could wave 5 stretch to? First of all, let's take a look at Fibonacci extension targets. If we look at that, we take the length of waves. Um, one second. Yeah, we need to take. We need to take the length of waves one through three, and we go to the low of the wave four. Okay, then we get target-wise, we get the area between four ten and five five five. So four ten would be the first relevant target. It is the 38.2 Fibonacci extension. That's the first common target for a fifth wave. If it is extending further and going crazy, it could easily reach 555. It's a 61.8 extension. These are sort of the extensions we're normally looking for in such a fifth wave. So anything else? Let's take a look at um, resistance, you know, structural resistance as well. Is there anything along the way? So we've got here around 391, we have a structural resistance level. I'm going to highlight that 395. Yeah, I'm going to highlight that with a dotted line on the chart. Um, then above that, I mean, then we get into, into much higher territory anyway. There's a bit of a minor resistance level at 484, but this is going to be significant up here. We talk, but we talk about $700 um, plus. I'm not sure if we get there in this um, fifth wave in yellow. So let's just leave that aside. I think the, the most relevant structural resistance level along the way is here. What we can do is we can add the VRVP as well, historical volume, and there isn't much there in terms of historical volume. If we take out, filter that out, you can see that we are currently, um, with a break above 295, we are entering a bit of an insufficiency area here. So it's pretty much in line with the expectation if price breaks above the levels indicated, then we could reach those targets because um, you can see there is only really additional volume coming in and vol let's call it volume resistance um, above above 395. Yeah? So could easily get there and then get rejected somewhere at that resistance level, at that structural resistance. And above that, you've got all that historical volume, which will provide additional resistance as well. So um again let's zoom in let's take a look at what that means and i take the vrvp out again so zooming in obviously reveals again our oops i didn't take the vrvp out so um yeah if we talk about okay that look look that extension target is very close to that 394 resistance or structural resistance yeah so um we've got 410 as the first major fib level on the way up. So if we break above 330, I think we have a good chance to get to 395 next and then 410. But obviously uh, at some point here that fifth wave will then be finished. We will be able to maybe give further clues along the way depending on how the subwave structure is looking like and need to keep an open mind. It could even push a little higher to 555 but without, relevant, without evidence I cannot really um, highlight that but for now we're watching if Bitcoin Cash can break above resistance here, 330, the wave three high. And if it's doing that, then we can say, okay, wave four is likely done. It already reacted to our trend reversal area anyway, where 
trend should have reversed in this structure. Um, and um, yeah, next target would then be that 395 to 410 area, but it first needs to break above 330. If it doesn't, we might be looking at an extended correction like an A, B, C structure, which is a little bit larger, okay? So that's my update about Bitcoin Cash. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.